We've all been there. All alone in our rooms. No one is texting us. No one is inviting us to do some interesting projects. No friends. No people who actually inspire us to do stuff. No like-minded people to support our crazy dreams and goals. Yeah, I know. It's not the easiest journey. But I believe that step by step, we can actually start surrounding ourselves with the right people. You know, as they oftentimes say, you're the average of the five people that you spend the most time with. But it does not necessarily mean that you have to stop talking to all of your old friends. Stop talking to other people and only talk to the right people. It means that little by little we can add new people in our lives who will help us in our everyday lives, in our careers, help us develop our interests and passions and overall make our lives more fulfilling. In this video I will provide 7 ways how we can build those groups of people around us. Here you can actually take a piece of paper and for each section write down the relevant things. First what we can do here is sort of define what kind of people we want in our life. This can be the cumulative profile which combines all the things we value in other people or maybe even the list of actual people that you find interesting and cool and you want to meet and communicate with. First, institutions and communities which are already present in our lives. This can be school, university, your job, your family, uncles and so on. Usually there are quite a lot of interesting and fascinating people around us, just oftentimes we might oppose to notice them. Sometimes we just have to look deeper. For example, maybe your uncle back in the day was super into film photography and you just started learning it. He even has his old camera and he can pretty much teach you everything. Or you know this super interesting girl or guy in your class who is interested in the same thing as you, but you are quite afraid to reach out. In these cases, you shouldn't really be afraid, because if they reject, nothing really happens. It's mostly in our head. Another important thing here to understand is the concept of weak ties from the book The Defining Deck. The author of the book, Mac J, says, weak ties feel too different, or in some cases, literally too far away to be close friends. So it's especially important and much easier to do during our early years. Perhaps the single best thing we can do to make our own luck in our 20s is say yes to our weak ties or give them reason to say yes to us. Research shows that our social networks narrow across adulthood as careers and families become busier and more defined. So even and especially as we job hop and move cross country and change roommates and spend our weekends about town, this is the time to be connecting, not just with the same people having the same conversations about how work is lame and how there are no good men out there, but with those who might see things a little differently. Weak ties are the people who will better your life right now if you have the courage to know what you want. In this section we can write down these potential people that might be interesting and then actually try to talk with them. Second, new places of interest. These are gonna be your hobby, sport or some other clubs. These are great because you can first choose the things which actually interest you and then find the coolest people there. For example, chess club, community of young entrepreneurs, creative filmmaking club, writing or reading clubs again. Here the great power is that you can combine something that you enjoy or what helps you grow and develop with connecting with those quality people. Therefore he will write down first the interests themselves and then find the actual clubs or events that we can attend. Third, social media the right way. We oftentimes use all the social media platforms not according to the first intention plan, which is connecting with other people. Sometimes we might end up using it for everything except that, comparing ourselves to others, getting overwhelmed, wasting our time mindlessly scrolling and dreading how our lives are so shitty when all these other people having the time of their lives. We can actually change that. Really try your best to use it to connect with other people. Reach out to those people who inspire you or you really want to work with. Offer them something, try to be nice and respectful communicate and connect. But also remember the importance of kind of virtual portfolio that you have. Better you develop it, easier it gets to actually connect with other people as they're gonna be seeing the cool stuff that you've done and be like, this person is actually cool. And it's not at all about the pictures with expensive cars and watches. Here it might be helpful to write down people that inspire you with their work or overall as a person. Then you can try reaching out and building that real life communication. But also remember that most of the time they might be busy. Fourth, the power of work. Here we're going to talk about this kind of work-related experiences. First, we would need to define what kind of endeavors and professional activities we're really into and would want to succeed in. Then once we've done that, we can start researching how we can get there. It might be applying for a job in this local startup, which seems quite interesting and where the team is full of young, ambitious and smart people. Or you really want to work, for example, with this super cool designer. You can try your best to get an internship or work as his assistant. Really learn from him and make some impactful work. Or offering some free work for the influencer or the entrepreneur that you aspire to work with. Show them the value of your work, your commitment, and chances are you're gonna be able to connect with them. And then afterwards, maybe even earn some money. In this section, 
we can kind of draw a mind map of what kind of projects or work experiences can lead us to what kind of people. Here, starting something of your own. Here, you're actually gonna be the one attracting and searching for the right people. When you start a new endeavor, a new project, a new company, a new brand, a new film, a new song and so on, you will need people to help you actually build the thing. And the better you choose, the higher the chances are that your endeavor is actually gonna succeed. Find those best designers, filmmakers, copywriters, managers and so on. Those who can and should be better than you in certain spheres. That way, you can actually learn a lot from them. And of course, you will try your best to collaborate and connect with those kind of people. The logic is almost the same as in the previous one. Here, you just have your own companies, agencies, restaurants, films, music, brands and so on. And then you think what kind of people these ventures can bring into your life. Putting yourself out there. With this approach, we kind of use the full strategy, a concept from marketing. Here, your goal is to produce your best work and make it available for the wide range of people to see. Usually, these are some kind of platforms like YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, websites, some other platforms, fashion shows, film festivals, pop-up stores and so on. You kind of remove the first step of needing to introduce yourself and telling what you do and so on. The right people are already familiar with your work. And that's the reason they want to be connecting with you. And at the end of the day, we never know who might be seeing or watching our stuff, right? Here, you can write down what kind of platforms you want to use and then in which way you want to display your work. Last but not least, we have the good old improvisation in different life circumstances. Maybe you meet one interested looking girl in Metro and you start talking. And turns out she works in the super cool design studio and you can easily connect on that point because you're also aspiring to work in the design industry. Or for example, you meet someone later tight in the hostel and start talking. So it can be pretty much anything, to be honest. Just that life sometimes throws at us these random moments of interaction. Hello. <laughs> Here, nothing really to write down. Just do once you have the chance. With all of this said, nothing will change if you don't actually take this initiative to start building all of these great surroundings. If you don't start noticing people around you, trying to reach out and start surrounding yourself with good people. Sometimes life itself brings them to ourselves. Sometimes life can bring not so great people who only drag us down. So in some cases we have to take control of it and it can be achieved through action. So to sum it all up, surround yourself with the dreamers and the doers, the believers and the thinkers, but most of all surround yourself with those who see greatness within you, even when you don't see it yourself. I don't know, finance guy. Ah. This. Done. Oh,